this video, we're learning how to find the interquartile range. And if you look at the top of the screen, it says the interquartile range is the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. And the third quartile is just the median of the second half of the data. And the first quartile is the median of the first half of the data. And I'll show you guys what that means once we do some examples. So let's jump into example one. So we've got seven numbers here. So what we want to start by doing is lining them up from least to greatest so that we can find the median. And then we're going to find the quartiles. So just like when you find the median, you want to line them up from least to greatest. In order to find the quartiles, we have to do the same thing. So I'm going to write the smallest number, which is 65. Cross them out as I go so I make sure I don't miss anything. Next number is 72. Next number is 79. Next number is 84. We've got 88, 92, and 95. And now we've got seven terms, so we do have a nice median. So I'm just going to circle the median right here. So we've got the median, median. And now to find the different quartiles, we have to find the median of the bottom half of the data and the median of the top half of the data. Because we have seven terms, the bottom half is going to be these first three numbers. The top half is going to be these last three numbers. So the median of the bottom half is just the middle of the bottom half. So it's 72. So this is going to be our first quartile, or what we're going to write as Q1. And then the median of the second half of the data is going to be the middle number of the top half. So this 92, which is going to be Q3, or the third quartile. So now to find the interquartile range, which I'm just going to write as IQR, we're going to have to take Q3 and subtract Q1 from it. So we know that Q3 is 92, Q1 is 72, we're just going to subtract 92 minus 72 is 20. So we know the interquartile range is 20. So let's go through one more example. So again, what we want to start by doing is writing these numbers from least to greatest. So we've got 10, 20, which shows up twice, 30, 40, 50, 60. 80. And this time we have eight terms, so our median is going to be right in the middle of our middle two terms. So our median is going to be in the middle of 30 and 40. You can find the average of them or you can just find the number in the middle. And technically we don't need the median to find the interquartile range, but I'm just going to find it just to remind you guys how to find the median. So the middle of 30 and 40 is 35 because it's directly in the middle of those two numbers. And now to find our first quartile and third quartile, we need to find the median of the bottom half of the data and the median of the top half of the data. And this time the bottom and top half both have an even number of terms. So we're gonna have to do this funky rule for finding the median when we have an even number of terms. So for the bottom half of the data, the median is going to be the middle of 20 and 20. When your, both your middle numbers are the same, that number is just the median. So Q1, is equal to 20. And now to find the median of the top half of the data, we have to find the average or the middle of 50 and 60. So again, you can find the average or mean of 50 and 60 by adding them together and dividing by two, or you could just think what number is directly in the middle. I think for this problem, it's pretty easy to tell that 55 is right in the middle. So our Q3 is 55. And now we're just going to find the difference between those to find the interquartile range or the IQR. So we know we have to do Q3 minus Q1. And we found that Q3 is 55, Q1 is 20. Subtract 55 minus 20 to get an interquartile range of 35. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to find the interquartile range. You just have to find the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile.